So uh, explain the thinking behind changing this from an in-person vote to a mail-in ballot and who that benefits. The thinking is uh, desperation, in part, on the team around Jason Kenney. Initially, they thought that having a kind of convention in Red Deer on April the 9th would benefit Jason Kenney because he has a reputation for being able to mobilize vote, get the buses organized, get people to actually show up, do the logistics. Uh, but they started to realize, I think, that uh, it was the opponents of Jason Kenney who um, had uh, some wind in their sails, so to speak, and that the best chance for Jason Kenney, in fact, would be to allow all of the party members to vote by mail-in ballot. But things are not looking good for Jason Kenney, and this is definitely a demonstration of that. Why has his popularity declined so much uh, over the last year or so, Professor? So he has had a rough time, especially during COVID. There have been other issues too, energy policy. Um, Jason Kenney himself has cast this as uh, a, an existential battle between mainstream conservatism as he sees it, and, and I'm quoting him now because there was a recording that yes. was released earlier this week from within the party, uh, and the lunatics in quotation marks. Um, so uh, he regards his opponents as having an extreme view of conservatism and a completely different ideology. And this is why I predict that uh, either we're going to see Jason Kenney leave, or um, there's going to be some kind of a schism within the party. It's hard to see how this, this party and this form stays together. There are former uh, members of the Wild Rose Party, including Brian Jean, who won his seat back uh, recently. Does that tell you a little bit of where uh, the party might be moving? Are they moving a bit more towards the right? And, and again, using Kenny's direct quotes, how he characterized some of the party as, as lunatics. Uh, it certainly tells us that the party is broken. Can you imagine, Jennifer, we almost never see this in Canadian politics, where uh, there's a by-election and someone is representing the governing party in the by-election, is officially representing the party, and is running against the leader, against the premier, and wins the by-election easily. Yeah. That's what we saw last week with, with Brian Jean. Uh, so this really does show us that Jason Kenney's hold over the party now is, is tenuous. In fact, the very fact that there is a leadership race happening, at, or a leadership review, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. happening at this time uh, was a, a survival strategy on the part of Jason Kenney last fall when already members of the party were bringing non-confidence motions against him. Okay, we will have to see how it all plays out. Appreciate your insight, Tom. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Okay, Tom Urbaniak, Professor of Political Science at Cape Breton University.